What's up guys and gals, it's Griever back here, bringing you guys the latest episode review, that being episode 3 of none other than Dr. Stone. Now right off the bat, as you guys can no doubt tell me, wearing a muscle shirt and everything for this review and stuff, it is has it not been hot in all across North America? I've been hearing heat warnings. I heard that there are heat warnings almost up to 90% of the North American states and provinces and territories and all that such. It has just been nuts. It's wild here in Canada. It's wild down in America. It's wild everywhere. Just this crazy heat wave over the weekend and such, isn't it? So that being said, uh, let's just move right in onto this review because generally speaking, this follows about two, well, two and a half chapters of the manga. It follows and honestly, there's not really a whole lot to talk about as far as differences go. Once again, last time there was a bit to talk about in character development and the reasons why. This only moves a few things around, but it doesn't really change anything. One little scene missing and one little, we're going to shift what what the plan is from the beginning to near the end of the uh, of the episode that's pretty much the only changes and this episode pretty much carries us forward still a really good episode uh where we follow through with of course senku and taiju and um they finally wake up uh usury uh usurio uh yuzua uh i cannot pronounce that name or shit um the girl that taiju likes so at the beginning of the episode, of course, we leave off at the end of episode uh, uh, two with uh, Sukasa and Senku kind of staring down each other like, okay, kingdom of might versus kingdom of science, right? And then it, it plays off the same way as the manga and everything goes accordingly. You know, he's like, if he doesn't find out about the revival fluid or the mi miraculous water or whatever they're calling it, uh, then everything should be fine. I can hide it for a while and come up with a contingency plan because as I said, he had... He, uh, later on in the episode, we saw he had the hidden crossbow and stuff like that, right? Of course, that ended up moot when Tsukasa manages to catch a goddamn arrow. And this guy not only beats, you know, lines with his bare hands and jumps out of the air to catch a bird by its feet and not die. Uh, I mean, and, and runs past wild boars. Like, the, the dude is just, like, superhuman levels. Um, but... Suffice it to say that uh, he figures out kind of where the cave is. They're still kind of working together. Taiju finds out very early on after Senku basically says, Look, uh, Tsukasa, yes, he is strong. He is a good guy. But he's also a murderer. And then we see Tsukasa walking through the forest after being led to go retrieve the miracle water himself. He figures out it's nitric acid. That's the solution. Blah, blah, blah. And then he walks by this group of adults. And it seems children and stuff. And the children with the with the necklace and stuff. So I'm, I'm very curious here. Like, the whole sea stone necklace. Is that just coincidence? This is a little girl with a little boy. And they've got the necklace. Because I was always under the impression that that was going to be Sukasa's as part of his backstory. Why he... Another reason for him not to like adults sort of idea. Um, unfortunately, none of that... Uh, like, I... I I just don't know the answer right now, you know, and if, and if you do, that would be kind of spoiler e. So I, I'm trying to, like, as I said, I haven't reread Doctor Stone in a long time, so little tidbits like that, are, I'm probably just forgetting. So if it has been revealed that that was Tukasa in the backstory as a little boy, I have forgotten that. I've forgotten that fact. That, that definitely the sister. I know that that's that's part of it, but. Um, Nonetheless, you know, I'm watching this kind of trying to read along and watch along at the same time. And I'm remembering things, just little details and stuff, right? So suffice it to say, they do end up uh, in, a, in a quick bid. They do end up to wake up uh, Taiju's girlfriend. And uh, then they're all together and it's all, it's a nice moment and blah, blah, blah. But then uh, Senku says, okay, we got two options here. Scott's going to be back soon. Either you guys run because he's not going to run. He's Senku. He, you guys run, run far away. Or we all stand here and fight together. But I would recommend option one sort of idea. And they're like, no, we're going to fight. It'll be fine. We need to stop the murder. And that's when Tsukasa shows up after destroying a bunch of statues. And Taiju sees him like drop a bunch of you know pieces of, of, of statues. And it's clear to me. I thought it was unclear in the manga. But uh, it's definitely clear here. He straight up murdered the children too by the looks of that. Like he didn't. There, there wasn't. That's the thing. After he destroyed a bunch of statues, I didn't exactly see any kid statues standing. So the fact that they didn't show me that leads me to believe, like, hot damn. Like, 
you are you straight up murdering the youth even though you said you wouldn't Tsukasa what's going on here bud and um Suffice to say, he says, like, murder is uh, a point of perspective. Their statues, is it truly murder? That kind of stuff. I'm going to cull the human world and b build it up to a paradise. He wants to make Eden sort of idea. He wants to make the might world, the stone world, the paradise, all that stuff, right? So, and I mean, once again, as I said in the last episode review, this is something that, I mean, you can kind of agree with the sentiment and his reasoning. And you can also see where Senku's coming from, and that's what makes this such a good story. So Kasa's, as Senku says it perfectly, he, yeah, he's a good guy and a murderer. You know, like that, that's the, that's the problem with it all, right? So there's a lot, there's a lot to unpack. There's a lot of th three dimensional, none of these characters are really flat, I feel. A lot of them are very three dimensional and they have different reasoning. So it's really good. Um, Taiju tries to fight Tsukasa and stand his ground. That doesn't really work. He catches Tsukasa catches the crossbow bolt that uh, you know Senku had been working on, and hidden away and stuff. Catches it, throws it into the ground, and manages to kick Taiju. Taiju, of course, just you know takes the blow and he's like, "Listen, man, I'll take all the blows and stuff. Just stop destroying statues." And Tsukasa stops for a minute. And he goes, "Hmm, okay. Wait, wait, what? There's no deal here. You're telling me." that you'll let me hit and beat the crap out of you no matter what and you want me to stop like give up on my dream my goals Bye. and your only deal is for me to hit you a lot he's like yeah it's like that makes no sense and Senka's like that makes no sense so simpleton big O, he's earned all this stuff right but Suffice to say, he does eventually, like that blow from Tsukasa does do something. Taiju gets knocked out. Tsukasa walks away and says, I won't allow anybody to get in my way. Senku's like, we gotta go. We gotta go, right? So they make it seem like uh, like they destroyed the place and they leave footprints and they left in a panic and disarray and all that stuff. Tsukasa figures it out in this episode, so that's no big spoiler. They basically are moving on uh, to try to find a way to make... The weapons of science, something that can stop a man of Tsukasa's strength in this stone world. Now, in the manga, they reveal this to be, of course, the gun, the human, you know, human history's greatest, most deadliest weapon, sort of idea. The the gunpowder, I guess, the way the new age of war that has sparked everything since. Um, so Tsukasa, or, or so Senku says, we we need gunpowder. We got to go make a gun. In the in the anime, uh, it's left almost at the almost the tail end the very end of the episode sort of idea and its placement is fine it's okay and stuff because i mean if you saw the manga and you would kind of surmise okay if a crossbow doesn't work what's the next step up stone tools won't work metal ones might sort of idea right gunpowder cannon fire that that kind of stuff right ballistics so that kind of all that fun jazz and so they uh they head out and he's like okay we got to head to this region blah 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 they find the buddha statue there's a lot of stuff going on there suffice it to say the scenes are okay they realize that like my mother my father like we're just high school kids and it, it's all kind of brought to a front that this is reality now like like this is maybe believe like because this is all just been forced right now this is proving a point this is definitely this location in japan this is japan nobody's alive everybody's petrified some people are dead. We don't know who yet. This it's been four thousand years. It's a it's a big thing to take in. There's a nice scene about that. They eventually go and they find the hot springs and Mount Fuji and all that stuff. And this is where Senku reveals that. Uh, and this is the one change. Uh, they, they find the hot spring and in the manga they enjoy themselves in the spring. We don't really see that in this episode. Nobody gets in the spring and stuff. Nobody enjoys it. We don't see. Senku's hair all go down. We don't see, um, you know, anything like that. You know, when he's when he's bathing, sort of idea. And that's when he's tink 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 to get all the sulfur. And he's like the first step in making gunpowder. We got a bunch of sulfur, and he's so so happy about it. Uh, it's done a little differently. They find the hot spring, and nobody gets in the hot spring, and they still find the sulfur. So that's that's the change. And during this exchange, this is when they bring up the whole, the weapon is the gun, you know, and, and Taiju, of course. Smartphones? is like, yes, you big oaf, you really love your smartphone. No, we don't need smartphones to fight Tsukasa. What are you going to do? You know, troll them on social media that doesn't exist anymore? So, um, that being said... Uh, the other part of the episode simply follows Tsukasa and him figuring it out. He shows back up at the site. He sees the crash pots, the, the, the panic, the footprints and stuff. And he figures out the plan right away. He's like, okay, I know where they went. I know what he's doing. And because, and 
in retrospect, Senku could have kind of figured that out, kind of known this, that this may or may not have worked. What he might have wanted to do was send Taiju and um, Taiju's girlfriend away um, to collect the sulfur, maybe something like that, because right now he should have recognized that Tsukasa would have figured this out, in my opinion, because he goes, Senku's not the type of man to run away. Like, I haven't threatened his life. So, he would not run away. No, he's trying to fight me. So, the whole the, the whole display is just for show, and it doesn't actually end up working. And, he, and Tsukasa even realizes, what can they do to fight me in this stone world? Gunpowder. Even, even Tsukasa it realizes the, the danger of gunpowder. So, he's not impervious. He's not invincible. Uh, he's not Superman. Lead does affect him, sort of idea. Well, Superman, lead does kind of. So, anyways, uh, suffice it to say, that's a big thing, and it's, you know, so that that's basically the episode, right? We have one side, you know, they've finally broken off here in the episode. So Kasa's the whole, I will not allow you to make gum powder, Senku, and uh, Taiju and Taiju's girlfriend, and Senku, they're all like, okay, we found sulfur, we have to make gum powder before Tsukasa finds us. And we do get a nice little scene with uh, in the episode that uh, has them trying to fall asleep, and Taiju, and I forget if this was in the manga, but uh, Taiju is, is sitting there, and he's like, like with a spear, and he's like, he's ready to guard the camp while they sleep, and he, Senku's like, what does it matter? If Tsukasa finds us, we can't win. We're dead anyway. So you might as well get your sleep. Because at the end of the day, I don't remember that being in the manga. It could have been, and it might have just been shorter or something. But uh, yeah, so suffice to say, Senku says, get some sleep, you big elf. You're going to need your energy, blah, blah, blah. So there was that little thing. Um, once again, the opening and ending, uh, I, I didn't even bother with the ending. But the opening has not yet grown on me. Um... I'll probably skip it next episode because I've, now I've watched it for three episodes and I haven't enjoyed it. I don't think it's really that great. So, uh, But what do you guys think of the opening and stuff? And what do you think of the episode? Uh, there, as I said, there wasn't a whole lot of changes so not a whole lot to talk about. This is just like the basic premise of what went on. Of course, the manga does it well. The animation was fine here. Once again, the soundtrack and everything. Everything is done panel by panel pretty well and the comedy style is there. Every, everything looks pretty good. Senku's face at the beginning of the episode... When um, he's like, okay, well, all we need to do is hide the revival fluid from Tsukasa for as long as possible. And Taiju runs up, yeah, I got the revival fluid from the cave, it's great. And just the face he makes, very similar, of course, to the manga. They're trying to follow this. Nowadays, uh, animes do not make animes like they used to. They make OVAs. This is a perfect example of that. This anime so far is, in for the most part, an OVA. It's a direct you know, chapter to anime, you know, manga to anime representation. There's no filler, there's no added, there's not a whole lot of added scenes, there's no big changes. They're following it panel by panel, scene by scene, pretty close on all the shots are the same, all the, the way the fights go. Everything is going almost like identical. So nowadays, they stop trying to make their own interpretation or, or fix a few things. They're pretty much, you know, they're just going off on exactly, you know, panel for panel. So, I mean, is that good? Is that bad? That's up for you guys to decide. Um, I think this has run on long enough. Uh, once again, this has been the episode three of Dr. Stone Review from your host, Griever, as always. Like, comment, and subscribe, as always. It's always very much appreciated. And I'm looking forward to episode four. I know this episode came out, uh, this episode review came out a bit late, but I had, uh, of course, with the heat and everything, but I had some uh, stuff to take care of both Friday and Saturday, So, and I didn't end up getting to it really on Sunday. So uh, that's why it's out today, um, this being Monday, of course. Uh, that being said, guys, I hope to be earlier, because I know that these episodes are released like Friday, Saturday morning. So I hope to get the next one out, episode four, much earlier than I did this one. But uh, I hope you guys stick around. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the episode itself. So tell me what you think in the comment section down below, and we'll see you back here next time. Peace out.